Oh, man. Uh, I'm not even going to take this one. I'm going to leave this up to my black Hebrew brothers. You can take it. I'm going to leave this up to my tribe of Judah brothers. Y'all can take it. But while I have you all here, I will say, it always amazes me when this topic comes up, how adamantly some people want to argue against the fact that Christ could have been black. I mean, the whole world over, if you're a darker shade of brown, you get assigned black. But as soon as I say it was Christ, y'all turn into some color shade experts like you're renovating a kitchen backsplash. Excuse me, that's not black. This color's called mochaccino creme brulee. Like, like, so triggered. Like, why not just go, hey, doesn't matter what color he was. If I believe in him, that doesn't matter. All men are created equal. That's the reality, and yet... You'll have such a hard time just accepting it. Be better. Accept that big black man into your heart. Recently in a video, I made the statement that Jesus was black, and I'm surprised how many people are still like, What? Wait a minute. What, what the hell are you talking about? Let's review, shall we? We know he was born and raised in an area that would have at the very least made him very dark-skinned Middle Eastern. And in Revelations, he's described as having hair like wool and skin like burnished bronze. So that certainly isn't a blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy who looks like he should be singing for the Bee Gees. But one comment was interesting. A guy asked, well then why throughout history is he depicted as white? Well, let's look at that. Most of those depictions trace back to Leonardo da Vinci. Pope Alexander VI commissioned him to paint a likeness of Jesus, and da Vinci asked for a model. The Pope recommended his illegitimate son, Sassati Boria. Sassati was an interesting dude. For one, he was reportedly the gay lover of da Vinci. He also loved to brag about repeatedly having sex with his own sister. And most depictions of Christ after were based on that painting. So that picture in your grandma's house is based on a gay bastard who liked incest. 